The James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, is a truly remarkable achievement in space exploration. Its advanced design and unique origins make it stand out from other telescopes. This incredible instrument is helping humanity uncover the many mysteries of our solar system and beyond. The JWST is not only focused on observing planets within our own solar system, but it is also exploring distant exoplanets that orbit other stars. One of its recent targets was a star located 120 light years away from Earth. This star is believed to have a planet that could potentially have carbon based molecules in its atmosphere, which makes it an exciting discovery for scientists. The idea that there might be water on such a distant planet opens up new possibilities for finding habitable worlds in the universe. The search for life beyond Earth has always been one of humanity's most profound quests. Another fascinating exoplanet studied by the JWST is K218b. This planet is about 8.6 times the mass of Earth, making it a sub-Neptune planet. The telescope has already found carbon-bearing substances like methane and carbon dioxide in its atmosphere. Previous research suggests that K218b could be a highly aquatic world, possibly with a surface covered in water and an atmosphere rich in hydrogen. Since the Hubble Space Telescope first observed this planet, our understanding of it has evolved significantly. K218b lies within the habitable zone around its star, which means the conditions might be just right for life to exist. It orbits a cold dwarf star, known as K218, and does not have any similar surrounding planets. Planets like K218b, which are between the size of Earth and Neptune, are unique and not commonly found in our solar system. Astronomers are still studying these sub-Neptunes because there is so much we do not know about them and their atmospheres. Some scientists believe that exoplanets in the highly aquatic region of space could be ideal candidates for searching for signs of life. This makes the possibility of K218b being one of these worlds even more intriguing. One key molecule that could hint at the possibility of life on K218b is dimethyl sulfide. On Earth, this molecule is produced by living organisms, particularly plants in the ocean. The initial results from the JWST raise the possibility of detecting dimethyl sulfide on K218b, but the evidence is still weak and requires more research. Scientists from the University of Cambridge have suggested that future studies by the JWST could confirm the presence of this molecule in detectable amounts in K218b's atmosphere. Despite these promising signs, K218b does not guarantee that life can exist there. The planet's radius is 2.6 times that of Earth, and it is believed to have a massive core under high pressure, similar to Neptune. Its atmosphere is thin but rich in hydrogen, and the surface could be covered by water. However, it is possible that the water is too hot to sustain life or even exist in liquid form. The JWST has provided the most detailed spectrum of a habitable zone sub-Neptune planet so far. This has allowed scientists to identify key molecules present in the planet's atmosphere. According to Subhash Sar from Cardiff University, the research team studied the light from K218b's parent star as it passed through the planet's atmosphere. This study, which was made possible by the JWST, helps scientists determine the composition of atmospheric gases on distant planets. Interestingly, the JWST has also detected water in other locations, such as distant galaxies. Astronomers have found complex chemical compounds that resemble smoke or haze in one of these galaxies pushing back the previous record for such detections by nearly a billion years. These findings are groundbreaking, as they provide the oldest known example of complex organic molecules in the cosmos. The discovery of these complex molecules is significant because it challenges our understanding of how quickly such compounds could form in the early universe. Polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons, which are carbon-based compounds, have been found in smog, coal, and oil on Earth. The fact that such intricate molecules existed so early in the universe is truly astonishing. The light detected by the JWST started its journey just over 1.5 billion years after the Big Bang. This discovery opens up new questions about the formation of galaxies and organic molecules in the early cosmos. Despite the fact that the galaxy in question is only a tenth as old as our Milky Way, it is already as large and has produced as much carbon and oxygen as our own galaxy. 
This demonstrates the vastness and complexity of the universe. With each new discovery, we are getting closer to unraveling the mysteries of the stars and understanding our place in the cosmos. The James Webb Space Telescope continues to shed new light on the universe, providing us with answers and raising new questions. As we venture further into the unknown, the knowledge and discoveries from the JWST will help us better understand the beginnings of the universe and the possibility of life beyond Earth. Subscribe to our channel and thanks for watching.